Okay, take three. Hey, this is another episode of Candace Michelle Views where I give my opinion on what I am viewing or anything that they are putting on the mainstream medium platform or any platforms that you could think of. So um, before I get started on the video today, I just wanted to thank everyone that wished me a happy birthday. It was very appreciated. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, and that wasn't fake. I know it's not a fake, but it was it's coming from the heart. So yeah, today... We're going to get started, and it's about Dr. CV. Um, I was keeping my eye open for Dr. CV because I knew, um, if you look, think of the history of his background, of his character, I knew that he was definitely a player in this game, and um, I, I most likely knew that Dr. CV was most likely a fake character because I, when I was searching him, um, I wasn't getting much information of him when he was younger i wasn't getting much photos of him just like a set if, amount of information and that's it they don't give you much information on him and i don't want to hear that oh it's because he wasn't from this country because he has done plenty of work and done a lot of things in this country to the point where they were suing him and he was going he was in and out of court so um they should if he's known in the united states even if he's not from the united states they should have some type of more details and information of dr cb himself of his life but um yeah so i believe that this is a secondary character and that his original character was being played by i'm not got, sure if you guys know this guy i really don't know him but you know um it's mr it's weird how some of this information just comes and falls right in my lap and i'm like wait a second you know i was looking for his twin and then it's like boom here 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 he comes popping up on my feed you know i was like oh i remember um barris hammond he's a a, a reggae a reggae singing star and he's like a, he was a big artist um somebody that i used to know uh really was like really liked this uh artist and was like trying to put me on to the artist and i'm just like oh i don't know who this is and then one day i heard like one of the songs he sang and i was like oh yeah i know this song you know, so for him to just come back and on my feet, it was just like, wow, it, things just sparked. And then I realized that this guy has been in the game for a very long time. And um, I wouldn't be shocked and surprised if he went on to playing the role of Dr. CB for the time being of Dr. CB's character. And, um, yeah, we're going to get into the, the functions of how that all works on how Dr. CB um, is is being was being played he was being played he was playing this character okay so we, we're gonna i know you don't see it right right now but we're gonna get into it okay so dr cv is known for being like a nutritionist you know guy that everyone for some well every person of color believed in um you know, and really trusted when it came down to his um, diet, um, his his nutrition plan. Um, a lot of people really are into what he believes in, um, that he's able to cure um, all STDs. Um, he's able to cure AIDS and, and think all the things of that nature because he believes that it's all being caused by mucus and that you could detox and do certain things and eat a certain way for, to avoid these diseases and these, these health issues. Which sometimes I feel like was somewhat of a quacker doo uh, way to say things because all germs aren't bad. We do need some good germs and some bad germs to balance. Everything is a yin and yang in this world. So when you, even if you're very healthy, if you're not balancing your healthiness and you're just super healthy and just eating like at almonds, like eight almonds a day, like being that specific and then drink like your, your gallon of water, you know, you might cause a sickness for yourself as well. So we can't just say, oh, you know, eating berries and almonds all day with water is going to keep you um alive and, and, and healthy depending on your atmosphere and how, how you have been living your life from day one that might not be the best choice to just change your diet like that because it could cause uh health issues drastically changing your diet even if it's going towards the healthy um route so like i said it's all about the yin and the yang um myself I, I do try to eat healthy but you know i do eat what i want i think proportions are a big play into um whatever weight you want to be you know what i'm saying i can be, gain whatever weight i want to be whether skinny or big and then i proportion myself after that to maintain that weight size so i don't know if that makes any sense but anyway yeah so it really it depends on your proportions of where you want to be get to where you want to be with a skinny or fat 
or you know thick whatever and then proportion your meals to sustain that weight um and, and as i say i eat anything i really want as long as i proportion or i i balance so if i'm gonna be eating snacks and all this kind of stuff i'm not gonna eat big giant meals behind it i'll probably be like well this is a junk food day you know and then like the next week or two i'm not having no junk food and then you know so things like that balance so anyway let's keep it moving um he treats all kinds of things so anyway once i looked into dr cb's uh profile of what work he was really doing professionally you know the big people that come up is left lisa left out lopez and michael jackson and he he went on to even um um working with john travolta so these are like big signs to say okay i'm on the right track i believe dr cb is definitely a character in this hollywood um show that they're performing on this the, you know the world stage so i was like okay um i'm i'm pretty much good on the right track of you know finding dr cb's twin because uh just just to uh go over these relationships he had with them um it, her her relationship with him had ended in a tragic uh, tragedy of her death and we're going to go into a little bit of that story okay was asking about your connection with lisa left oh my god i was going to mention that lisa Lisa was the only person that had the nerve to tell me something that shook me up and she was right. Lisa came to me for healing, like, Jack, like Michael Jackson did, and they both received what I had to offer. And they were quite satisfied, but one night Lisa then asked me, what is it that I'm so... Now how the hell would she be satisfied if she didn't even complete her time with him and ended her time with him ended in her death before she could even be done with the program that he had her under. But yeah, I guess she was satisfied with that. Um, what to do? To put me on the other side and keep me there, say fast. She said, for how long? 40 days. She passed it for 42 days and 42 nights and didn't eat anything for those 42 days. But Lisa looked... Now, did you hear that? 42 days and 42 nights? I know you could add, right? You could do the math, right? So he said 42 how many times? Uno, dos, tres. Three times. He said 42 days and 42 nights and which is sex and sex. And then he said, yeah, it was 42 days. And that's, so he made sure he put in that three, six reference um, through the number 42. Let's keep it moving. So beautiful. So I'm in my heart. I'm too in the morning. Somebody's at my door. It's Lisa. Lisa coming in the door with two cups in her hand. And she said, look, this is Seamoss. I made some Seamoss. So as we sit there, we start talking. She said, but I want to tell you something. I feel good. I feel very good. And da 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 But I want to tell you something else. You need healing. Mm. When Lisa told me that, I wanted to shrug it. I wanted to pretend I didn't hear that. But no, it resonated differently. Mm. The girl was right. You're just saying anything, right? The story sounds stupid. Like, he's like, yeah. And then she came in one day and was like, hey, you be the hell. And then he's like, watch. Like, bro, what the hell? Like, this nigga, he, this guy, Dr. C, been doing it for, like, how many years? Supposed to be all professional and work with all the stars you could think of. And Lisa Lopez is going to come into him one night and say, hey, you need a hell. And what, 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 she, what was she experiencing while she was there when she had to come up to you and tell you that? Well, what did she see for the 42 days and the 42 nights, you know, where she had to pop up at your door and say, hey, you fix yourself now. Like, but anyway. She has a better hook on certain things than I have because I'm a male. I don't have the wisdom of a woman. I'm not a woman. I'm a male. I'm not a female. But we have it just the reverse. She came to me for healing. But yet she... See how he said, but we had it reversed. This is the world they live in. Well, she did a reverse on him. Told the healer he needs a heal. You know, this is all symbolic to them. For mine, for the father. Say, she was, and, I, and she was right because there were things that I was working on, uh, wrestling with, things that I was struggling with. And she saw it. Yeah. She saw it. Lisa was. Yeah, like I said, what did she see? But listen, join us. Remember when she said. Listen to this part about. Look, look how creepy it got during the time. Like, then I remember I had said this in one of my prior shows that. Uh, 
Dr. C.B. was definitely uh, a part of some type of uh, working with with uh, America because the fact that DH1 was able to come to his compound, have him sign different disclosures and things like that for even for them to come and tape on his compound and to document this last days of Lisa Lopez, Lifestyle Lopez, you know, letting me know that he was definitely a part of the group of the production of this whole story that's being told. He's definitely a part of these scams because of the, the whole production was done on his compound that he approved of, that he uh, gave authorization to. So, um, yeah, listen to this part. The, the spirit that took the little boy, living it, she was showing us that. But to their transition with Lisa, left by Lopez, wow. she knew, she knew she was living it. She was showing us that. Look at the documentary again. She's showing us. Remember when she... Now look at him promoting a documentary too. Like, look at the documentary again. Like, I thought you don't deal with America and the things that happen over here. But yet you want people to check out this VH1 documentary. And of course, you know it by heart where you're like, oh, look at this part and pointing out these certain uh, s s parts of the, the document. She said that the spirit that took the little boy Lopez that was killed on the highway. Can you believe that? Did you hear that part? But it wasn't too. It was for her. Right? The little boy Lopez. Remember when she said that the spirit that took the little boy Lopez. Did you hear that? <laughs> During this taping, um, she uh, left eye was on the road driving, and I don't know if she was the driver and killed this little boy, or somebody else was driving and killed this little boy on the road. And it's in, in the document, they show him her sitting with the mother after all this happened in the hospital. Um, of the mother being told her son had died, and she was telling the mother, like, oh, you know, like, she went to the hospital with them, and then was like, you know, I'll pay for everything. Mother doesn't go out of control, doesn't go crazy, just learning that her son just got killed by the lady that's a celebrity sitting right next to her. I mean, that was just weird in itself, but the fact that the kid name was Lopez, the boy name was Lopez, like Lisa left out Lopez. Like what the? What kind of odds? You really think that these odds are are more normal in in this world that they're trying to push on us? You really think that the odds of that is 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 making sense? That the race, the rationality of it all is just is just adding up? You know, like no, 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 no way that the boy name was Lopez died on a highway by vehicle, and then like like Doctor TV is about to tell you two weeks later. Lisa Lopez also met that same thing. And as you can hear them say, the spirit took that child. What spirit took that child? Those whoever, whoever was driving wild on the highway took that child. But no, they're saying a spirit took this child. Anyway, let's keep it going. Was killed on the highway. Was for her. But it wasn't two weeks later she was gone. Wow. wow. Very. Yeah, they're like, wow, very good. Like, they, the, the people that listen to it is just like, oh, when do I get off? Because they know these are all fake little made-up stories that they got to push and, and promote for us to believe what, what they, you know, do. Later on, they have to do little cameo shows. I mean, a lot of times the stories change up. I showed you where, where Tommy Davidson, the guy from The Living Color, he, he was telling a story about growing up. And his story changed so many. He was in Detroit at one point. Then he was in, like, Africa or something at one point, telling the same kind of scenario. But he done messed up the locations. Like, I mean, come on. Like, but anyway, they're like, wow, wow. Just like me. I'm like, wow. You really telling us this? Like, like you really think that we believe that a little boy named Lopez got killed on the highway by left eye? She paid for the funeral. Then, two, then she felt it was meant for her. Maybe because the boy name was Lopez or her last name was Lopez, I would have felt the same way. And then, of course, though, she still ends up in a highway driving like a maniac down the road because it's being taped. You can see it on that documentary right before she even takes a dive in on um, how fast she was going in that car. And on top of that, when it was time for her to dive in, we, we didn't see everything went, everything went blank. Like, whoever was holding the phone should have got a good footage of whatever happened while that car was flipping. But guess what? As soon as this car started to flip or turn out or whatever it did... All footage went out of out of the. We couldn't see anything. We just hear a bunch of kabanju, a lot of black screen, a lot of jumping around with the phone. But we don't get to see anything that um 
solid to say, hey, this really happened to her. You know, they just gave us the, the follow-up, and then boom, when the tragedy hit, we can't really figure that part out for a fact. Like, it's just confusing. Just like with the GFLY dude with the police situation and the knee in the neck. You know, when he first was struggling with the police, he was on the side of the sidewalk. But yet when they had him um, hit the knee in the neck, you know, he was on the other side of the car facing the street. So I don't understand how that struggle got to the point where he was on the floor. Remember he dropped to the floor, Jack of the Fool, on one side of the car. Then I don't know how he would be able to get out on the other side of the car and end up on the floor um, facing not, not, he's no longer on the sidewalk side, but now he's towards the middle of the street side. So, you know, maybe that something happened where he ended up on one side of the floor, then um, they cut Provin, you know, into showing him on the other side of the floor, but they never showed us how he did, how he did that and how he got there, you know? And that's that's the parts that I don't like. I don't like the parts where it's like, wait a second, how did he end up on this side of the How did this happen? And we don't get to see those parts. And it's like, stop cutting. Why is this tape being altered to show the footage straight through? I don't care if it's three cameras, show us each camera, each Wait for this whole hour and a half to show us the next camera. Don't keep cutting and start putting a whole new TV show together and show him on one side of the sidewalk, falling on the sidewalk. Then next thing you know, it, the, it was cut in prop, you know, part two, and then boom, he's on the other side of the uh, car on the street side where the ambulance came and picked him up, which was, which was weird. I don't know how he got to that side. But anyway, um... That's beside the point. It's a lot of things that happened in that video that was like, uh, you know how you ever play that game where it's like find everything that's missing? You have one picture that has everything and then there's another picture and it's like find everything that's missing. I'm the type of person that finds like all 10 things. And if, 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 if it's a really difficult one, I'm probably finding all nine and probably just missing one. Like I'm, I'm really good at finding every little thing. I, I'll look and analyze. So that's how I catch most of the stuff. But anyway, let's keep it going. I don't want to really go get into uh, Left Eye, but, you know, like I said, he just gave a valid point about how weird this story gets about the little boy named Lopez dying, the same exact way she died, and she thought it was meant for her, and two weeks later, she ends up the same fate. So, um, yeah, anyway, Dr. CB is not easy to Google. They, they don't have much information on this guy, man, um, but his name, I believe, is Alfredo. Darrington Bowman, and they, I hear a lot of people say when your name has men or a son in it, you know, don't be shocked that they're like a part of something or, you know, not everyone, because a lot of us, you know, our, our last names is sent down from wherever the hell they got it from like hundreds of years ago, but you know what I'm saying. So, um, Alfredo doesn't even sound like a name that he, that sounds more like an Italian name, but hey, whatever, you know, but they say he was born in Honduras, but then he, they say that he was, he never... He never uh, stated he was a Hondur Honduran, that he only uh, referenced himself as an African um, man and was really raised in Africa. So, like, I don't know. So, so his story is all over the place. So they pretend that he's Honduras and, and born in Honduras, but the guy doesn't even claim Honduras, being a Honduran. Um, so I wanted to show you this part because they say, like, you know, that Nipsey was like that. He felt like people were um, on his back. Okay. Um, one of the balloons after the un, 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 ultimate death of the West Coast rapper Nipsey Hussle in an interview with the Breakfast Club, the late rapper exposed concern that he might be targeted for his support of the controversial herbalist requesting that fans ride for him should that ever occur. And as mourners struggled to process the gruesome slaying, his request appeared more profit than a suggestive. Oh my God. Like, that's how I knew Nipsey, somebody in it right with Nipsey. And I've been looking into Nipsey, too. I believe Nipsey was a real person at some point because they have a lot of childhood videos of him and his brother. But when I, just like I showed you with, like, Nicki Minaj in, like, a prior video where she was, like, five or something, like, years old and was like, oh, yeah, I go to PSX. I looked up PSX. I couldn't, it was only one school in Staten Island. It was a private Catholic school. So it didn't make no sense. I don't know if that was a real school. And if so, why would she go all the way to a Catholic school in Staten Island? And why would they be there taping her to, in, with that professional equipment at that young age like how many people you know is coming to get interviewed because they went to school and then this is supposed to be somebody that's coming from humble beginnings out of the country and then her father's supposed to be on crack 
got to burn her house down, but yet here she is thriving at five years old on video being interviewed, you know, because they know that these people are going to be something later on. They are born into it. So don't say, oh, Nicki Minaj is being played by somebody. No, Nicki Minaj is an actual character. She might be playing other people, but Nicki Minaj is the one that was grown up in this state because we see them from childhood going up. You cannot deny that this person at some point was there. So this is the same thing with Nipsey and his brother. They had them taped on numerous little videos, and I'm saying, hey, here comes Jeffers, and they always played up Nipsey. Never played up the other brother. Like, the brother wasn't that. Like, they, oh, he always jumped in and was always, like, the sidekick. So you see the narrative from day one that they have with these characters, even as little kids? They had Nipsey jumping up, like, oh, here comes your Mary is, and him doing all this stuff. And then they had footage of him going out of country and, like, a teenage age. What kind of hood do you know goes to visit their country at a teenage age, like, going to experience their other culture and this and that? And then by the time he gets back, somehow he starts to look more blacker. Hair starts to get a little bit more coarser to, so he could become more black-looking and urban-looking when he's really um, some type of Indian guy. Or so who knows what kind of uh, race that is, but I keep telling y'all it's the same kind of race. It's like this uh, Turkish, um, Nigerian, okay. um, um, Arab slash Jewish, and all that over there in that little area is all. All those cultures are in that area. You know that, right? That all those names that I named to you guys, all in that area, all combustion into you know these kind of groups of people that started the monetism, the monetary over there in that area. You know, spanning from Egypt to Turkey. You know, all that stuff is compromised. Anyway, and I believe that these people they can they can interface any colors. They go they go up the colors go up and down from whatever color you could think of. So they, it's easy for them to play these games, right? So anyway, um, yeah. So Nipsey and and him and Nick Cannon, obviously Nick Cannon with his turban. Like I just said, with these Turkey Hebrew, like all these people that that conspired together. To, to harass us with this monitor, just selling water to a wells concept, you know, just selling us back the free energy. These people conspire together to keep their power and to keep us, uh, you know, making their Starbucks so they could be comfy um, or, you know, keep any electricity on. You know, we all have to work and do our part, fly an airplane, whatever we have to do so they could be super cushy in their life. Um, so, yeah, uh, these two are uh, absolutely compromised. He didn't. He never died for this. Like, are you kidding me? Um, if anything, why wouldn't anybody die before him? Anyway, so we never even knew he was doing anything to, until around he died. He's like, oh, you're ever doing this with what you call it. But you can tell this guy was is super compromised. He was born into this. And then I believe that at some point they make their deals. And then, like, anybody could play them. Like, they, 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 they clone them out really good, and they figure out how to get people that look alike similar to jump out and play them if they want. And I'm going to go into, like, a rant to show you how they have, like, sometimes trying to slip a new character in because it's obvious. Um, look at the numerous faces of, of Nipsey. I mean, if I, this ain't about Nipsey. We're not going to go into Nipsey, but, I mean, come on. It's just look like a bunch of different people, man. Don't, don't be so silly. He never had that weird-looking frog eye before. Where did the frog eye come from? Then Nipsey had a really thick uh, thing. Look at all these different looks. Look at the frog weird eye right here. Then, look, it's not so evident here. I don't know. And then look at his changing colors. And he went from an Arab-looking color to, like, a, a tan brown, a high, uh, you know, a, a dirty yellow color. That is like, here he goes right here, just light, lighter tanned. Um, a lot of colors, brown here. A lot of different looks, okay? A lot of different looks. A lot of different looks. The braids even look different. Like, it's a lot of times his braids look really smooth and clean. Then the next time his braids look very dry, dry and stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I'm not, maybe I'm looking too into it. But as you can see with this one, with his neck, right? See, his neck, his, he has a protruding. When he's younger, he had, like, a protruding Adam's apple that took over his whole neck. And as you can see, when he gets older... See, it's still there. It's like a big, giant uh, indent. Look when he gets older. Look when he gets older. It's nowhere to be found. It's not even sticking out a little bit. And don't you, how, how does that happen? I showed you numerous pictures with him. I showed you numerous pictures with him. That for, for this to even start to protrude like this, how would they manage to get this? How would they manage to get a straight neck? With the weird looking face, Nipsey. Okay? Okay, people? Start to pay attention. Even right here, these people look different. 
All right? He looked different in every goddamn picture. Look at this. He looked like a... Like Prodigy right here. Like Prodigy. Okay? Now, here goes his neck again. You can clearly see uh, it's evident that he has uh, like something that sticks and protrudes out of his neck. But in here, it looks like his neck is so big and swollen. Who knows why? He's not even like no big, thick guy. So why where did a big, swollen neck come from on Skinny Nipsey? Okay? And do y'all not get it? So we, this isn't about Nipsey, but look at the... Look how many times his face and, he, and everything changes. He changes a lot. I know y'all look like, oh, that look like the same guy. Not freaking really. If you look at the eyes, his eyes is more double-packed here than it is here. And I don't know how you could accomplish that in real life. Okay? Way more puffier here than here. So it's weird stuff going on here. Look at this guy's face, man. It's like very weird compared to what they used to have him as. And just right here, him being sent off, just the same as Kobe should have um, threw big giant red flags up. Kobe put it in his fucking hard work. I used to have number eight I think when he was, you know, on my book bag back in the days, like I used to have Kobe and I don't even care about basketball. So that's how popular Kobe was. You know, in junior high on my jeans board, I had the white out. I put the white out. Kobe number eight had all my little strings on my jeans board, stealing strings from everywhere, putting on my jeans board. So how does this guy get the same send off as this guy? I mean, let's be honest. That's silly as hell. This guy didn't even have anything um, popping off until he died. And then he got his Grammy and all that stuff, which obviously was came with a deal. But why would he get sent off like him? It, it just never made no sense. But only because he's he was he been in the game doing like I said, they was taping this guy since he was young. He's been around very young age. They wanted to see who Nipsey was. And he was talking all this ancient stuff. He's been playing it since day one. He's a born he's born into it just like he was born into it. So yeah, he gets sent off just like he got sent off. He accomplished his goal, so he gets his sent off. And he gets his Grammy. And he becomes legend. Okay? That's their deal. They never are forgotten. I don't think they could never die. I don't think that's um, possible. I don't know what kind of magic they got going over there, but I think them saying they'll never die is, you know, they legend them, which means that their names will go on. They'll be in uh, some type of records that in this history. So people will always know them at some point, you know? So that's what the you never die most likely comes from, from what I believe, you know, my opinion. So, yeah, so Dr. CD, uh, couldn't find no height on him, okay? Couldn't find no height on Barris. And we're going to get back into that. I know I'm reared off, but I just wanted to show you how much of a Hollywood actor Dr. CV has been, okay? And along with his Hollywood friends, helping him along the way. The man worked with Michael Jackson and had a lawsuit with Michael Jackson saying that he wasn't going to pay him. Um, so anyway, uh, Dr. CV has 17 kids. And as you can see, they labeled him as the witch doctor, Okay, right here, witch herbalist slash witch doctor. So mind you, they didn't say warlock. They said witch, which is kind of like a female uh, wizard or something like that, right? You know, don't get me to lying about, you know, how they, like he said, so like Lisa Lesser did a reversal on him, you know, with this reverse, because why would they call him a witch doctor? And he's a, he's a male, okay, we should be a wizard. But anyway, let's keep it moving. He has 17 children. That's a whole lot of children that they pushed upon him. I'm not sure if he actually fathered them all or what's going on. They said they consider him a quack doctor here. Um, the way how he got arrested was super janky. Uh, they said he only had like 37000 on him. You know, thirty-seven in cash. And that's what they locked him up for. Then he was locked up for a couple days. And they said um, that he died from a pneumonia, which is a coincidence because this is what everyone is dying from now, you know. And he died on six what on the sixth of August, you know. So I, I think all this is probably connected somehow. Um, I think his birthday is um, August. No, he's November. But anyway, I, I really don't want to uh, drag this out. Um, Cause I had a lot, all this stuff, it had something that stuck out to me. But anyway, yeah, he worked with Eddie Murphy, Steven Seagal, Lisa Lopez. So he's like a, you know, he's been working with the celebrities. So uh, let's just, uh, just confirm that if you believe Dr. Stevie has passed away, then good for you. Um, God bless him, if so. But if you look at his um, funeral, 
Yeah, it was very questionable. They would never show him up. They would never give us a clear look at who was in that casket. And if you look at that that footage, it was just so like, I don't know who that is in here. And it was super weird. The, the funeral was super weird. It was like some big ceremonial situation they had going on. But, you know, if I had the link. I don't want to be rude and put up a funeral. So if you want to follow that link, um, go for it and check out Dr. CB's. Or just Google Dr. CB's funeral and it should pop right up. They never show a good look on the cast. The guys were all over the place with the camera. Um, as usual, you always got to scratch your head and squint. You don't know what's going on. So that leads me to believe that something ain't right. If, the, if you're going to tape a funeral, like, let's get a good look at the person in the casket. If you're going to tape it, if you're going to be there taping, then that's what the, the whole funeral is about, with that person in the casket. So what's going on? Why are we seeing the back of his head? We're never seeing nothing else. No real good foot line of footage of him. So, um, yeah, just like uh, the Kanika Jenkins, shout out to IMCs. Uh, he did uh, uh, say say that he believes that this is um, Little Dirk uh, is playing, Little Dirk Baby Mama, uh, I don't know her name right now, is playing uh, Kanika Jenkins. And somebody in my comments was saying, like, do you think she's really dead? Uh, did you see her funeral? Once I saw, once I saw all of the shout for purple, I was confused from day one. Like, what the hell? Mind you, the people that they said had did something to her friends were there every step of the way. They were there at the the march. They were there at the funeral. They were remember they partied the day after she died or whatever. They was like, oh well, Chicago people party different. They had a cake there and everything. They celebrated um, getting off, getting winning. They were celebrating hitting that lick. They hit that lick. They won. They did whatever they had to do. They, we believed it. We were following that story for months. They kept us busy for months. I donated like $10. I'm telling you, they're disgusting people because that's definitely most likely Kanika playing Little Dirt's baby mother. Um, and shout out to IMCs for showing that because the girl has her whole face and swag. Kind of got that same swag too. But um, I didn't really look into it. But uh, yeah, you can kind of see it right off the bat. Um, and if you look at her funeral, and like I said, her friends was there every single way. They were even partying at her um, bypass, whatever, saying that they grieve different. But the mother and the sister never, you know, they were, they were embracing the friends that they they, they they were accused of, everyone their mother was accusing them of. Um, and they wore purple everywhere. The funeral was full of purple. And you already know what purple is. Like, look at the inauguration. Miss, Mrs. O.B.B., Miss Obania. Um, came down flying with the, the, the pimp purple suit, the purple pimp suit, okay? You can see who wears the pants and that, uh, that relationship, right? She came with the, 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 the super fly purple suit that everybody swore looked good. I just was like, yeah, okay. She's just showing her Sigma Phi allegiance to whatever the hell, you know? But anyway, Kanika, uh, Google Kanika funeral. They gave a glimpse of her on that casket. And then when, they, when you get a glimpse of them, sometimes just like with the Biggie Sports, they get a glimpse of Biggie Sports. So you're like, who the hell is that in here? Who the hell is they? Like, and then you give a bunch of excuses. Oh, well, she was in the refrigerator for a minute. She was here. She was there. And I, I'm going to do a rant on Kanika, but she's going to be a part of my next rant. She's going to be, for stuff is, is going to be in there because I was a big supporter of that. My my boyfriend is a witness. I was up all night. Like, just the fuck, Nika, just go. I was all in the phone. Like, just fuck, Nika, trying to send money for that bell. All kinds of stuff. They got me, okay? Because it was so, the story got so flimsy months down when they was done with us and they wanted us to get off the story. It got so flimsy. They started killing people off. They started uh, dirtying people's names. All kinds of little drama was coming behind all that. And I was like, wow. And now it makes sense now of why they were doing that. Because it was fake. All the stuff was storyline. Kanika did not look like herself in that fucking casket. Everybody was wearing purple. I was like, who is that old lady with that wig on in that casket? People had a thousand excuses. Like, oh, she's building she this and that. I mean, our kids, I don't know. And that's probably why they didn't show him. Because when they're showing these fake people in there, I think it's like fake. If you ever saw Stranger Things, where the mother knew that that wasn't her son in that morgue, looking just like him. But then when they digged in him, it was like filled with paper. And they already gave you hints of that with a real scenario where that little boy was rolled up in the mat in school and found dead and paper was filled up in his body where his organs were. So you got to understand that they're giving you the concepts. You're just not putting the dots together because they put the dots all over the place. Um, just like the honey bun situation. There's another honey bun reference with Cinco Ocho. Somebody has brought that to my attention. He had two honey buns on a plate with uh, a biscuit, which was weird because it's like a, a woman has her butt out 
usually it's no biscuit at the bottom. So I'm looking like, what is that supposed to be? The nuts hanging? You got to really pay attention. And I'm going to put that in my rant too. So let me just stop going off track and keep moving. So yeah, the whole point of me today in that was that, yeah, Dr. CB funeral was uh, questionable. So um, yeah, then they got Nick Cannon like, oh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do it. Never does nothing because it's all a fake show anyway. And I tried to look up young Dr. CB. Can't find nothing of young Dr. CB anywhere, but yet he's been out in the game for mad long cheering people. So this is all a fake story that just was put to the forefront of us since Lisa Lopez, which was in the early 2000s. They started to introduce this character to us of uh, Dr. CB and then um, his character outro was the um, him dying and then Nipsey dying as well so that that was the whole tie in to it, it does tie in to the CV19 cough cough situation cough sneeze okay it all ties in as you die from a pneumonia and all this stuff it all goes together I can't really tell you how it goes in but if you like I said if you look at your mantra most of this stuff is done by the numbers and that's probably why they connect these people I just don't get into that because it's annoying um anyway and then I really don't need to look into the numbers to just see how this stupid story gets played out and how scripted it was so um now chapter uh, y'all still think this is a real person look how he was like Oh, if you're not going to do nothing with that thing, Nick, let me get at it. Like, really now? Uh, Y'all make fun of me saying name now. I don't know what the hell it is. Neo? N-L-E? Is it, did they just say the name? I don't know. Is it just N-L-E or is it all together? <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, if, you're not, if you're not sure this is Bree Shore, um, I, I'm pretty sure you guys got me glasses. Um, everything he's putting up now, people are like, yo, is this not the guy from like, now it's catching on and people can't unsee it. So yeah, he's uh, pissed off probably at me, but too bad. So um, yeah, let's get back to Barris playing Dr. C. Maybe. Barris has a lot of um, pictures in the game. He's been in the game for a long time. He's an A-lister. You see, he is part of the game. He is going to play the game. Okay? He has that going on. He has this going on. And he has this going on. Now, mind you, I can't find a picture without this guy with a hat on. Every single picture. If you want to go to Google, find me a picture with this guy without a hat and without him smelling. This is, they're doing a duality with these two characters. Dr. CB never really wears a hat, and if he does, he wears the same kind of hat that this guy wears, which is like some, some, some type of weird top hat. Like, I'm going to show you the top hat. It's like a weird top hat that he wears. Dr. CB never really wears any hats. He did get caught with, like, one hat in the picture, and I, I got it down. But Dr. CB does not smile, and he does not wear hats. This guy, he only wears hats, and he only smiles. So they're trying to, like, not let you see it. But you got to see it, all right? It's, it's there, okay? Look at the three stars on his sweater. This is Beres at a young age. He has been a part of the Legions for a long time, okay? So he's... Definitely somebody that's going to play the game if they need him to. He's definitely going to come and play the part. Look at him with his friend, whoever this is with him, probably another artist from the reggae, whatever. So, Barris is uh, Jamaican. They have 20 years difference. This is, Barris is 65, and, and Dr. CB is uh, eight. He was 80 something. But as you can see, he was born on August 28th, and Dr. CB died August 6th. Okay, I'm not sure what that connection is, but, like, they're all old. Dr. CB didn't hit the game until he was old. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, 10 years ago, this old guy could play Dr. CB with no problem because they both were still in an old age about 10 to 20 years ago when Dr. CB started to hit the scene with the Lisa Lopez and things like that, uh, the health the health kit. So, we're going to get into... Okay, I had to take this video this song out that's why you're getting the video of a video they did flag it for copyright and i wanted to take it out so i'm gonna just let the music play it was um the song was rockaway by bearish Harmon. flagged it but they don't flag any other songs so it must be a Eli popular song and they made sure they flagged it right away i'm gonna take this little song out too tempted to touch um i just wanted you to hear some songs he was famous for but i'm just taking it all out just to stay safe because they um they um only they made my my videos private where only certain people could view and I'm not sure how much or how what that 
pigtails. Had the same exact body frame. I couldn't find it his height. Barris Hammond wouldn't come up with a height. Dr. Simi would not come up with a height, which is weird. That's what I believe that they try to really be funny with us. Because, like, why wouldn't you have any information like that reported on the website of their height? But neither of their heights are listed, but it don't matter because I, I got a good eye for it. And I could tell that they're, like, the same height anyway. So, yeah, let's get into their videos. Let's get into how the double videos of these guys, um, just to give you a good insight of where I'm getting this from. I mean, if you take a look at the nose, the eyes, the, look at the cheek, how it, 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 it cuts in, and then his cheek goes like this, and it cuts in again. Do you see that? It has a cut at the side, and then it comes into the nose. All right, so they both got the same cheek and structure, ear structure, same eye structure, but one never smiles, and one does. And like I said, it's the only picture that Dr. CB really has a hat on. He really doesn't do hats that much, but this guy, you can't get him without a hat. I wanted to see him without a bull head, just like how he got a, you tell he got a bull head, but they just won't show it. And they get them having the same kind of like sailor type hat, captain hat, you know? But anyway, let's get into the video. What is the, where's the video of it? Yeah, and then at one point they tried to say Samuel Jackson looks like um, Barrett, right? They try to throw you off. This is the case of the lookalike. We're not talking about lookalike. We're talking about exact same sister, brother, first cousin, <laughs> okay? Same, not look alike. Did you, he does not have the cut here. Look at this fat fold, this fat fold. It's not there. It's not, he doesn't have that cut. He, that cut is not coming here. Then he does not have the same as that uh, eye. It, it's not there, trust me. And then when you go further into looking into this, he doesn't look absolutely nothing, right? You gotta go into it. Look at him when he's look face on. His ears don't even protrude like their ears protrude when his face on. Okay? But that, that doesn't matter. All that I'm trying to say is that they're trying to pin it on him. But no, this this is something that Google will give you. But it ain't true. Because if you look into it and you go through the body type and everything, it's not there. Now we're going to go into their videos. I'm gonna try to get that. I'm gonna try to get that for you guys, but they they are very similar, okay? And do y'all not see it? Yeah, they got the same exact shoulders. Do you not see how they got the same exact like shoulders? The same exact frame. They even hold the mic and everything the same. They like all old with it. This at the same time when they got excited, when they both got excited. Look how he did his little jump, like dee -dee 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 -dee, jumped around, like yay, he right here. He's like jumping around, like yay, like right there. And then look at him, look at him up top. I'm 
mean, if y'all don't hear the voice, maybe you need to go back and look at, listen to them at the same time like I did, because it's clearly there. It's like they have the same exact situation going on. It's there, this up because i've been here longer than anticipated um so the photos uh i feel like they're right on point looking just alike they sound alike and they move just alike that everything is there they just won't show that bold crazy same forehead they're not going to show it to us you're going to keep it uh hidden but if you can look at the face just look at the smile look at the smile check it out Okay, it's like a split. You could literally fold this in half. You could really fold these pictures in half. You know, what are what are they to each other? So they gotta be something. Take a close look. Look at the look at the, the smile and everything. Look at the the frame of the hair. Look at the frame of the hair on your mouth. Look at the frame. Look at the square box frame. They just made this one really white, and they tried to like make him look a little younger. But it's clear as day that they had him playing this role. Okay, this is Beres over here. This is Dr. CB. Look how they hold their mouth the same. I know it look crazy, but they even yell the same with their mouth like, ah, you know. Here you go, I'm holding their mouth the same again, where it looks like they're saying a certain thing, and it, it seems like they look, a same, look very similar when they do it. Okay. This is the only picture that I could get with him not really smiling because the guy smiles with everything. That's why I had to get these pictures because, like, he's literally smiling with a hat. This guy's always stone cold face with a, without a hat, okay? That's the way they had it set up so you could be confused and not really see it, but it's there. These people are, this is uh, the main character. This is the fake uh, Hollywood story that was just here planted for whatever, to transition us into whatever we're transitioning into now. Okay, and look at look how they're looking. Look at the face. Look at the look. Look how they're staring. Okay, same looking stare. This is where he's smiling. Same picture, but he's not smiling here. He's smiling here. Can't find Doctor C not smiling. Um, still look just alike. Here they go again. This is where he kind of he tries to smile, not showing any teeth. He makes sure he doesn't show no teeth. But the smile is still there. The, the look of them smiling with the ear, the profile of their face, everything is there. Then as you can see his physique, you know, look at his physique, how he's like really slim guy, but in very boxed shoulders. Same thing with Dr. CB, box shoulder, slim guy, same, same look, same exact look. Don't get confused. It's there. Just take that hat off and change a couple things and it's there. Put some more white in that beard. Okay? I mean, 
If you don't think this is getting played by him, I don't know what to tell you. It makes perfect sense. He's been in the game for a long time. They're going to have approach on whatever role they need to approach. Um, just like Jim Carrey said, that he's not in the game anymore. But if a role comes up, that oh, God. here you go. I'm holding your mouth the same again. Need you to do it. Is behind the fence. And his neighbor said, well, why did you take it? And he took the clients and in two days he was seen. And he was blind for 11 years. That shook me. Yeah, he's 80-something. I couldn't explain. Hmm. Here you go. What, what, were, what were your thoughts when you formulated the... Uh... The comps. Okay. And let's see if I can get something really thick, quick of uh, Burris. Yeah, 
Anyway, I come and sheep or call or not like that though. For me, it's the heart, you know? And not just how you deal with Paris, how I observe and dealing with other people. Now, mind you, that's Barris, right? And I just showed you Dr. C. Like, are you kidding me? Are y'all blind? Are y'all lost? And his neighbor said, well, why'd you take it? And he took the plants, and in two days he was seen. And he was blind for 11. I mean, do I have to continue on? Do I have to keep going? In Jamaica for all your life? Best burrows. I don't think so. And, and every and any time you perform in Jamaica, people still feel like they can't get enough of berries. You know, you have, you have blue hair, you know. <laughs> Do they look big difference in age? Why did you take it? And you took the plants in it. Same way they talk, they talk exactly the same, they look exactly the same. I, don't, I mean, I don't know how many people could make it in the world like how they made it big and be twins like this, but um, something fishy is going on, okay? Um, yeah, so the, 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 the people for Nipsey, the judge, um, just recently I saw this on Tank, Tank, Tank Quay Views or something like that. Um, it's a ch channel on YouTube. Uh, I'm sorry, I chopped their name up, but he does like a lot of investigations on like... Uh, deaths of rappers and nipsey is one of them and he just reported that the judge that was working on nipsey case has resigned um he's left from and not resigned but you know he's done went to you know get his pension or whatever and retired he retired you think that's not that's not by accident they're gonna make a shit a, a crap show of this case because this case is not real it's not a real case. This is the kind of games they play in court because you're thinking, oh, well, the court system's involved. This, these are all a part. They're all a part of it. They're not making it this big. They're not assigned to these cases without being a specific party of whatever is going on. OK. So, yeah, just to tie that in on um, how um, Nipsey is definitely a character. The connection with CB shows you he's definitely a character. Because look how shit showy this uh, case. They have everything on tape, this and that, but yet they can't pin this guy for nothing. They only got witnesses, and the witnesses is getting immunity. Like None of it makes sense. None of it makes sense. There's a lot of weird stuff going on here. Um, very questionable things going on here. Tried to ask for Barrett's weight or height, or even Dr. CB's couldn't get anything. They say, uh, family resolutions, they said not too much is known about Barra's family and relationships or information about his private life is concealed. We will update you soon. Oh, you see what I'm saying? They got things concealed. Why? He's a act, he's a big Jamaican artist. Why, why is anything concealed about his life or his family or whatever? But that's what you guys don't understand that they are being played by multiple characters. So sometimes it's in their best interest to not give out too much information so we could start putting things together like how I did in this video. So they leave a lot of things out. They leave a lot of things questionable and what ifs. Um, this is what this world is full of, a lot of what ifs and what's going on. But you gotta be smart enough to take out the what ifs, answers, and them in front of you in a better ring, you know? like. But anyway, that's all I have on Dr. CV. As you can see, I believe that he, in my opinion, I believe that he's definitely being played. He definitely was being played by Barris Hammond, to, hence why Dr. CV character had to go, because Barris Hammond is the um, main character, and he wants to go on living his life peacefully. He's getting too old for this, and he probably was like, you know what? I can't wait to end this character. It's not his choice. It's not up to him. But it, when the, the time called for Dr. CV to go, I know Barris Hammond was happy. <laughs> so, um, um, that's all I have. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. I am working on some other videos. Um, and um, cancel them. Cancel them if possible. I know you're not probably watching uh, Dr. CV anymore because, you know, he's um, not being talked about much since his demise. And um, they're not pushing him, so, you know, we don't see it. And you probably don't know Barra's that much anymore because, you know, his, his days are, you know, his, his hot days are, were a long time ago. So, you know, not, maybe if you're not canceling them, fine. But this is still a video and a reason for you to see that canceling all of these celebrities all together because they are gatekeepers and they are just making sure that they live in their gated communities and they're getting cushy taken care of while we are out here, you know, scratching and surviving, you know, like, and they want it to be good times, but it's not. Okay, stop letting them give you hope and, and dreams and pray and all this stuff when they have everything right right now.
You know, we want it right now. We don't want to wait for $1,400 checks. We don't want no shots. We don't want any of this stuff. People need to start sticking up. All of these things. Look at the celeb. Look how the celebrities are acting. They're kind of promoting all this stuff. That doesn't make any sense. Like, if you're a perfectly healthy person, why are you promoting me to to get a shot or or to be happy about uh, somebody that is being accused of being a pedophile, of raping uh, older women of that they worked with colleagues. Why, why are we supposed to be so happy and celebrating that? I can't hate somebody more than enough to be happy that this guy is doing something when his, their name is super dirty. You know, it's just look at the manipulation that they are trying to do to you guys and you guys are still watching their shows and listening to their music. Like, stop supporting them. They have their own, they do not have your best interest in their mind, which you would think for you to be their fans, that they would treat you a little bit better than that. So, um, yeah, like, share, subscribe, and cancel them. Cancel them. Un unfollow them. Please start unfollowing these people. That's the first step. Um, and enjoy the rest of you guys' night. Okay, I know that was choppy, but I had to go through a lot to get this. So, um, good night.